Good afternoon, everyone. We are really excited to be here to talk about our research, which is CMD Everywhere optimization from Omnion to RISC-V vector extensions. And this is a team effort brought to you by Professor Zheng Kun Li from National Tsinghua University and the folks from PICO's group. I'm Chao Lin Li, and I'm here with my colleague Zhu Hong Li to share what we have been working on. So here's the thing. Many libraries such as Compute Library, OpenCV, and XNPack, and Eigen utilize ARM or x86 CMD intrinsic to op optimize programs for performance. So if you ever try to move Neon code to RVD code, it requires manual rewriting, which is a time-consuming and error-prone process. So this is where we step in. By introducing our Neon RVD intrinsic migration, we believe we found a way to around these challenges. So our work is based, is based on CMD Everywhere. CMD Everywhere is a header-only library designed to run CMD code across different architectures. So commonly, CMD Everywhere use three converging methods. The first one is to translate intrinsic into CMD intrinsic from other ISA extensions. And the second one is it use comp compiler-specific vector extensions and build-ins. And the third one is it use compiler auto vectorization on scatter implementations. So here's an, ex an example to showcase how CMD Everywhere translate Neon vector intrinsic to other architectures. So if the architecture is x86 with SSE extensions, CMD Everywhere will translate vector add into x86 SSE intrinsics. And if the architecture doesn't support by CMD Everywhere, it will use compiler specific vector extensions and build ins or auto vectorization. And vector, vector, vector extensions such as vector attributes and the build ins such as shuffle vectors to do the vector permutations. So here is our two main contributions. The first one is we support for some missing neon intrinsics and their corresponding tests in CMD everywhere. So for each instruction, we use gather or compile specific vector extension implementations. And also we do RVV intrinsics if needed. So overall we use, so overall we complete RVV intrinsics conversion to about 57% support rate of the instructions. And the second contribution, also our main contribution, is that we add RVV intrinsics conversion support in CMD Everywhere Neon Flow. So now we go to Ru Hong for the detailed design. OK, so uh, for type conversion, CMD Everywhere use a uh, union as a generic type. And uh, within these unions, besides the architecture specific CMD intrinsic type, uh, there is also a type they can use the across different architecture, typically an array or a vector, vector variable with vector attribute. Uh, for example, there is a neon universal union type that used it to convert a neon integer 32 plus 4 type to uh, other vector type. So for Taki, I saw it as a SE2 or on neon or uh, cd 120s uh, there, uh, the union declares the corresponding intrinsic type. Uh, so for uh, RV intrinsic type conversion, we first need to add our intrinsic type uh, in this union. Uh, but uh, the problem is neon vector type has length of 64 bits and 128 bits. The RVV vector length is determined by the hardware implementation. And uh, also RVV type, intrinsic type is such less type they cannot be declared in a struct or global union. Uh, so we first adopt a new attribute in uh, OVN17. They propose a fixed size attribute for RVV uh, intrinsic type that uh, allow programmer to uh, declare a fixed, type RVV, uh, fixed size RVV intrinsic type in global union struct. And it makes uh, make it easier to map neon types to RV types. Uh, so, uh, uh, CMD requires support for different vector lengths. So, for RVV vector length, it's shorter than 128 bits. Uh, we can use uh, 
uh, RBV intrinsic type with E more greater than one to represent larger RBV vector to replace Nyang vector. And so for RBV vector length shorter than 120 epics, and we still can replace it because the uh, number of process element is determined by the setting VR register and that is encoding every uh, RBV intrinsic. Uh, and uh, so the only problem is the conversion and permutation of a neon store intrinsic in Cinderella. Memory copy is used to copy the whole union into memory. So it may pollute the memory when VLAN is greater than 120 FPS. So in this case, we uh, use our intrinsic type in to ensure performance and stop the uh, correct number of elements. Uh, for example, use our intrinsic store or uh, units try and store to repress uh, neon chains ST1, ST2, ST3. So for uh, function conversion, because uh, original Cinder where flow style to generate of my VV code in many cases, uh, the one reason is that the compiler cannot efficiently vectorize complicated scalar implementation. And the other is uh, in some cases there is no corresponding compiler specific vector extension and the building. Or, uh, it lacks the proof of RBV backend. So our uh, strategy is we primarily use cost my RBV intrinsic implementation, and we still return the original CD flow uh, based on the RBV cogen result. And when there is no corresponding RBV type, uh, uh, for example, no high precision floating point without the ZFH extension, uh, we also return the original flow. Okay, so uh, this is. Uh, Neon intrinsic support by on A64. And uh, the one table is classified by the functionality of uh, Neon intrinsic, and the other is classified by its return best type. So uh, here we give some simple case study. And many Neon intrinsic have the same or similar functionality or certain RVB intrinsic, so it can be directly replaced with few RV intrinsic. For example, there is an uh, uh, intrinsic mapping table. Uh, we can see a uh, neon intrinsic vector add, including widen app, half add, and saturation add, can be replaced with the corresponding RVV intrinsic. Uh, maybe some cases with, with uh, rounding mode control. And uh, here uh, we also saw this uh, intrinsic that can be replaced with few RV intrinsic. The case is neon table lookup intrinsic VQTB arrow. And it uh, is uh, use an uh, index vector to repermute the source vector. So here we can, uh, it, it, it is very similar to RVV gather intrinsic, but the difference uh, uh, VQTBL set element to zero when index is greater than the maximum element uh, uh, neon vector hold. And the uh, RVV intrinsic set element to zero when uh, index is greater than VL max. So uh, in this case, we can first use uh, RBV compare intrinsic to check whether index is out of range and use RBV gather to uh, repermute of source vector. And finally, use RBV merge intrinsic to merge gather result and zero according to best mask vector. Uh, also, there are uh, some intrinsic may involve a slightly complex translation uh, exposure, exposure uh, uh, when there uh, is no similar RBV intrinsic or similar RBV intrinsic, but uh, uh, different approaching in uh, handling margin value or another number of values. So here, here is a uh, uh, neon intrinsic V dot, dot product uh, example. Uh, we can see as uh, shown the diagram, uh, V dot on size 32 bits uh, perform two dot product separately on the lower four element and the higher four element, and add the result vector to uh, that's the V1 vector. So in this case, we can use custom RV intrinsic implementation. First, use RVV uh, wider map multiply to multiply V2 and V3 register, and then uh, use RVV slide down, uh, slide down below by four element, and uh, separately use RVV reduction sum to sum V low and V high. And finally, uh, add a V low sum with uh, the first element in V1 and add a V high sum in the second element in V1 and finally use a uh, slide up to merge uh, two results. And okay, so uh, since the error UC tree is very uh, straightforward, we can simply include since the error where had a file in our code. Uh, for example, there is a function at double high, and we can uh, include a since the error where near header file in it and compile it. And 
uh, we can see the RV assembly code here. Uh, and then we can see the neon vector law store is translating, translating into RV vector law store. And neon add, uh, we add our high intrinsic is translated to a uh, slide down instruction and a wider end instruction. So uh, here we have an uh, experiment to uh, test our RV enhanced Cindy hardware. And we use Kalen uh, version 17. And we have two test library. The one is uh, original Cinderella wheel that goes with uh, original flow and goes with Kalen vector attribute for computation or auto vectorization of the scalar implementation. And the other is our RVB enhancing the everywhere that hybridize original flow and the customer RV intrinsic implementation. And we have two benchmark XLM pack and OpenCV. And there are two uh, important features in Clan 17 respect support. The one is the addition of uh, a fixed length attribute, and uh, it allows programmer to uh, declare RBB type in struct, global, and union. And the other is initial support for the RBB intrinsic version 0 0.12. And it's our uh, ideal tool to convert on neon intrinsic to RBB intrinsic. And because uh, Cindy Everywhere is a header-only li library, so after preprocessor, a uh, pro programmer can still rewrite some Im implementation of Cindy Everywhere uh, if they don't like the uh, original Cindy Everywhere flow. OK, it's uh, our uh, performance overview in XM pack experiment. And uh, in this experiment, uh, we can address BR uh, ranging from 1.14 uh, to uh, 3.76. And it's our uh, performance overview uh, in OpenCV experiment. Okay, uh, so let's talk about two performance issue uh, in our Cinderella Square flow. And the one is a uh, redundant VZ VL problem. It calls, uh, calls uh, RVB instruction rely on setting VL uh, to determine how many elements to process. So uh, if a compiler cannot efficiently emit a uh, VSET VL instruction, it may, uh, or it cannot uh, remove redundant VSET VL. It may uh, generate many unnecessary VSET VL. Uh, unfortunately, currently, LLV and can uh, efficiently emit those uh, VSET VL according to the current and previous uh, instruction status. So uh, we have experiment. So in our uh, XLM pack neon to RV experiment, the RVG elimina elimination rate of B set VL is about 83%. And the other issue is because uh, we directly convert neon intrinsic to RVV intrinsic, so it cannot fully use longer vector length capability of RVV. So our ongoing work is to solve the issue by compiler optimization test. OK, well, we can see there is an exam, exam pack graphic example. And uh, there is a loop and uh, perform add elements graphic uh, in every iteration. Because uh, uh, neon vector can only handle four elements at a, uh, f four floating point elements at a time, so it needs two vector substitute and two vector multiply to perform add elements graphic. So we can easily see the potential of optimization here. Uh, as shown on the right figure, we can see the, uh, we can aggregate those uh, small vector operation into a larger vector operation. Uh, for example, uh, aggregate two vector sub two handle for element into a vector sub two handle eight element. And this is our ongoing work. Uh, finally, our conclusion. We use the uh, open source tools in the everywhere to automate the conversion from NEON code to RBB code. And it includes we fail in some missing NEON intrinsic and low, low corresponding testing. And we enhance in the everywhere by enabling the conversion from NEON intrinsic to RBB intrinsic. And in our experiment with XM pack and OpenCV, our RBB enhanced in the everywhere address BR ranging from 1.14 to 3.76 compared to the original Cinderella with our enhancement. And uh, our ongoing work, the one is uh, we will upstream our code to Cinderella where uh, as soon as possible. And the other is uh, we will plan to solve the performance issue by uh, further compiler automation pass. Thank you.
Excellent. Give him a round of applause. We do have a few minutes for questions, but you know, as moderator intermittently, I get to insert the question first, right? So the obvious question I have is how many other places do we know that SIMD everywhere gets used? How many other frameworks, packages use SIMD everywhere such that your work will apply there? Do, you, do we have a feeling for that? Do you mean how many other architectures that use SIMD everywhere to, change, to convert? Or how many other applications, applications, right? As I understand it, SIMD everywhere is a framework then that applications can use for their vectors, right? Did I, did I misunderstand? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you, oh, you're co-author, do you have an answer? So actually, uh, the potential use for this is uh, when you go to the Enjoy, and you, if you have a risk of five weeks tension on Enjoy, and the AP, APP developer, they will not give you the source code they have. So they can use the, the APP intrinsic or digital developed by intrinsic and enter the risk of five extension, actually. Ah, okay. So and, it's more prevalent in the Android ecosystem than, say, right. So uh, okay. even the chip developer, they don't have the source code. So. Okay. All right, good, thank you. All right, anybody have a better question than I had? Yes, no, no, yes. If not, then I say we give them one more round of applause and we'll move on, thank you. Thank you.